kids, we've already learned about equal shares, but today we're going to practice doing word problems involving equal shares. Remember that equal shares means that you cut things into equal pieces, not unequal pieces. So I would like you to join me. Go get a whiteboard and a marker, or you can get a piece of paper and something to write with. You can pause the video for a moment if you need to go get those things. Okay, let's do sharing a rectangle first. Two friends want to share a granola bar. A granola bar is the shape of a rectangle. How can they cut it so that each friend gets a half? Draw a line to show equal shares. Number each piece. First, let's draw a rectangle. There it is. It's not perfect, but I did my best. You'll notice that a rectangle has four equal sides, four square corners, and the top and bottom could be one shape or one length, and the left and right could be a different length. Let's cut it so that we make two equal pieces. Go ahead. Did you cut it like that? One, two. Two equal pieces. Both friends are happy because they get an equal piece. What if the friends cut the granola bar like this? Uh-oh. Those are not equal pieces. She's not happy. Now let's think of another way to cut the granola bar. Can you think of another way? If you need to, pause the video. How about like that? One, two. Is your friend going to be happy because she's getting an equal piece? Yes, she's happy. Now this friend is going to cut the granola bar. Uh-oh. One, two. The top is much bigger than the bottom. Her friend is not happy. Now we're going to share a square. Let's practice sharing a square. Four friends want to share a sandwich. A sandwich is a square. How can they cut the sandwich into four equal shares? Draw lines, number the pieces. So here's my square. It's not perfect, but I did my best. You will notice that all four sides are equal length and it has four square corners. How do you think we could cut it so that all four friends can get an equal piece? How about like that? One, two, three, four. Four equal pieces. Everybody was happy, but what if we cut it like this? Are all four friends happy? No, these boys are sad because they think that the girls are cheating them and they're not going to get an equal piece. Okay, can you think of another way to make four equal pieces? Here's the sandwich. How about like that? One, two, three, four. Would you be happy if you got any of those pieces? Yes, you would because they're all the same size. What if we cut it like that? Uh-oh. Now the boys are not happy. They're not getting equal pieces. Their pieces are tiny. How about a third way? Can you think of another way to cut a sandwich into four equal pieces? Yes. Those pieces are all about the same size. Would you be pretty happy if you got any of those pieces? Yes. It may not be perfect, but I tried my best. One, two, three, four. Yes, they're all about the same size. How about like that? Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. The first two pieces are huge. Three is smaller and four is very small. The girls are mad. The boys are trying to cheat them. The four friends want to share a pie. What shape is a pie? A circle. Now we will do sharing a circle. The four friends want to share a pie for dessert. 
How can they cut the pie into four equal shares? Draw lines, number the pieces. Now, cutting a circle is very difficult. It's much different from cutting a square or a rectangle. First, I will draw my circle. The circle represents the pie. Is it perfect? No, but I tried my best. So, first I divide it that way, then that way. Do all four of those pieces look about the same? One, two, three, four. Yeah, they look good. All the friends are happy. Uh-oh, that guy's sad. What's the matter? What'd they do to him? <gasps> oh, no! Look at that! If we try to cut this pie like we tried to cut the sandwich, it doesn't work. You can't cut a circle vertically like that. What happens? The piece on the left is smaller because of the round edges. And the piece on the right is smaller because of the round edges. These two friends are sad because they think that their pieces are smaller. Well, that was equal shares. And what did we learn? We learned that all your friends will be happy if you share equally. Bye-bye!